Angela and I met at church in 1992. Uh, we attended for about three years. Uh, and then uh, the church became uh, abusive and we could no longer stay. Because of what we went through there, we were really hesitant to attend church again. Because we love the Lord so deeply though, we did try other churches over the years, but we found it really hard to trust again. So then we got the first postcard from South Bay. And I'm not sure uh, when it came, and uh, I can't tell you exactly uh, what the event was, um, but it really got us starting to think. So the cards consistently came, and they would go on the fridge for us to think about it. Uh, then one day, my daughter came home from school, had a postcard from South Bay in her backpack. And I thought, how did this church find such favor with the school district? That was impressive. At this point, our desire to go back to church was growing. With every card that came in the mail and every postcard that came home in our daughter's backpack, we felt God softening our hearts. And then we got the postcard for the Easter block party and it seemed harmless. We were still hesitant and it made us do a lot of thinking, uh, most importantly, what we wanted in a church. What we came up with was a place that would be filled with real people who loved God like we do. Um, a pastor who preached messages that were relevant and practical that we could apply to our everyday lives. Um, a place who had an outreach that their main goal was to win souls for Christ. And important to us was a place that could accommodate our three children who all have unique needs. So we decided to make the block party a go. And when we showed up, we were amazed about the amount of people and the amount of activity and the amount of everything that was going on. And we had never imagined it being possible in an outreach. So we went ahead and waited online with the kids so that they could go ahead and enjoy uh, everything that was that they saw and everything that they wanted to do. And the whole time we watched everyone from the church. They smiled, they asked if we needed prayer, they handed out food and balloons, they ha extended all of the kindness that they had um, for us and everyone that was there. What we realized also is that it didn't cost us anything. It was an outreach like we've never seen before. My son said it was his best day ever. On the way home in the car, it was quiet as we just tried to take it all in. This place was different. The people were genuine. And we were a little scared because we were starting to think we could see ourselves in a place like this. So we checked out the church website and it mentioned that you could live stream on a Sunday morning. And we thought that couldn't hurt. So that Sunday we live streamed for the first time. We analyzed the, what was being said. We took the scripture references and checked them out and looked at the testimonies that were given. We wanted to make sure that the doctrine was sound and it was something that we could uh, trust. And what we found was that it was good. We live streamed for many more weeks and then we got the next card from the kids' school. This was it. We were going to commit to go to a movie night. The kids counted down the days and off we went to movie night. When we got there, we found a place to sit. The kids had popcorn and ice cream and we all enjoyed a movie. With a family of five on a tight budget, going out to the movies is not always possible. Again, the, the kindness and the generosity that was extended to us uh, was amazing. And it really made a lasting impression on us. At the end of the night, we felt compelled to speak to someone from the church about the children's program. We met Jason, and then we met Ashley. I told them about the kids and how I wasn't sure how they would be in a children's church situation. And then Jason told us about Maria and her mother and how they worked with children with special needs. 
this was amazing. How could this be? And then they went ahead and gave us the DVD of the movie that we had just watched. The generosity was great. And it was amazing where God had brought us. While we were at movie night, uh, we were handed a card that introduced the beginning of, a, of the new series, The Chaotic Life. That was for us. We made plans to attend church that Sunday in June. The kids were so excited. When the day came, we were on our way there, and in the car, I was in tears and I was trembling. So we prayed. The fear was intense, but we knew what God called us to do. So I sort of set out this fleece. This is not something that, that we typically do, um, but we were uh, afraid and we really wanted to hear from God uh, if this was where he wanted us. The silent prayer was that if this was the church for us, let the band play the last song that I listened to on Spotify that morning before church. And that was Chris Tomlin's Our God. So we took our seats and I reminded God about the silent prayer that morning. And the band began to play. And like a game of name that tune, I heard the first few chords and I can recognize the song. The first song that they played was Chris Tomlin's Our God. So the rest is history. Uh, we are regular attendees uh, here at, at South Bay. Uh, we look forward to it so much on a, on a Sunday. Uh, and our kids, our kids absolutely love the kids' church. We're learning how to trust again. We've found healing for our hearts and we are growing in our faith. When we had talked about what we were looking for in a church, we had no idea that it existed. But most importantly, that we were on their mailing list. <laughs> Our desire is to be with a group of people that is interested in reaching out to uh, the community and reaching out to people like us that uh, needed that encouragement, needed that, um, that interest, needed that little something to bring us back into the, into the fold. That way we could strengthen our relationship with God. South Bay's outreach was vital to us. It took multiple contacts by mail, by school folder, um, and even sometimes people handing us things in person for us to be able to see where God wanted us. We are very grateful.